Yeah, I'd say when the first time I went in the garage was at Daytona, and I met Dale Jarrett, and um, it was, you know, I was there for my first time at a NASCAR race, so it was really cool to see some of the drivers walking around, meet some of them. Um, you know, the next time I was back at Daytona racing in the 500, I met Ricky Carmichael and his wife, which was, you know, pretty, pretty cool for me because I was a huge Ricky Carmichael fan. So I would say it's over the years I met great people in the garage. Uh, there's a lot of people walking through, a lot of fans walking through that you meet throughout time. And, and then other than that, it's just about working on your car and, and being prepared and working with your team and uh, communicating over the weekends. My first memory of working in a garage would be with my dad. We had a two-car garage away from our house, and that's where he kept a sprint car that he had different drivers race for him when I was little, you know, growing up. So we, you know, just trying to learn about a sprint car, learn about those things. We had a tractor in there, so he's teaching me about that as well. And then when I started racing, I had my mini sprint in that garage, and that's where I, you know, myself, my cousin, my brother, we worked on all of our cars as we were, you know, kids growing up and, and wanting to race. Yeah, I would say my the best experience for me working on cars as a kid was just learning. I didn't know you have to learn from someone to understand what, what you're working on. And so I had my dad first, and then my cousin Willie, who was who usually was ahead of me in learning stuff, so he was helping me with things as well. And then we would teach my brother when, when he's coming through. So it was just all about learning about parts and pieces and how to put things together.